Bobby here, check it out. I've got a Kramer Imperial Classic. Um, it's kind of a hybrid guitar. It has an 82 body and an 86 neck. Um, a long, long time ago, I had bought a guitar exactly like this from Steve from Boston. And um, then about 15 years ago, I actually had sold it and I just regretted selling the guitar. And um, even I tried to reach out to the guy I had sold it to. But um, just one of those stupid things. I sold it at the time and then I regret it. So it took a while to, to put this together. This is actually, if you want to call it a, a reproduction of the one that I had and Steve had. Um, these, th this particular one was an 82 body, or maybe 82, 83, because this serial number started with a B. So it's a B9373. Uh, made in the USA. I think uh, sports was making the bodies at that time. Later on down the road, ESP was making them. And with these particular 82, 83 bodies, they had a rosewood or maple fretboard, and the headstock was the uh, beak. And when I had bought mine from Steve, he had bought his, and uh, it had a really wide neck, really uncomfortable. And so he had switched, he ended up working at a guitar store, so he got a neck like this. And he put it on the guitar, and even, I can try to put a picture up, where that original neck was so wide that there's a tiny little gap over here. And even over here, I had put like a little shim inside so everything would stay straight and haven't had a problem with it. Um, even with this neck, I, I want to talk about the other points on the guitar, but I want to point out this particular run of necks, when these were eventually made by ESP, but this is very, very small. Even though it's a, a normal scale length, the nut is, is an R2, and it's just really, really narrow. It's, I mean, it feels like you just wrap your whole hand around it, and it's not thick at all. It's, it's just an incredible feeling neck. I mean, it feels different than any other neck I've played except for that original Kramer that I have. Um, even on this particular guitar that I, I showed you guys last time, that I put together, um, even this neck is is a little bit different than this one. It may look the same, and actually, as a matter of fact, this must have been made on a, a different run because the gold is a little bit darker. The gold Kramer is a little bit darker. So I think when I had gotten my original Kramer from Steve, maybe this neck was a part of that original run because it just it feels exactly like it. And actually, when I had put this together, I brought it over to Steve, and right away, he, because he, he remembered how unique that neck was. When I bought this guitar, um, it came with one of those wide necks, and I, luckily I was able to sell it for somebody who was looking for a wide neck, which was amazing. The guy paid a lot of money for that neck I got. Um, ended up getting this guitar in reverb. It took me a while because I was looking for the same exact color, looking for, um, you know, the guitar that I had. And I guess the original owner bought this from, you know, Guitar Center. Um, and this must have been, because it looks like on here there's uh, like six locations, I think like in, there's one Chicago, Southside, Santa Ana. It looks like a total of six locations, mainly in Chicago, Southside, I would suppose would be Chicago. But uh, the rest of the addresses, I'll, I'll put it up. I mean, it looks like there's only eight guitar centers. I'm really not too sure how many guitar centers had in 1982, because I think this is the original owner. Also, little things for all the hardware, and then the, uh, the little registration and form and the serial number that, that comes with it. But um, these guitars came with a real German Floyd Rose, and even the engraving on the Floyd that it's so old is a little bit different than the engraving that says Floyd Rose on maybe the 86, 87 or later models. And of course, it has the uh, two flatheads that you would turn for the height, you know, the screws, as opposed to now where they have the, uh, the collars with the Allen wrenches that just go right into the body. 
They came with shower pickups, but the one I had bought from Steve had a Dimasrio super distortion, which sounded incredible. Um, he seems to think he had a Seymour Duncan, but I remember uh, even the pole pieces were, were to be like a, a Dimaggio Super Distortion. It sounds great. And it's weird, the toggle switch it's just like a real, it's really small, uh, three-way toggle switch, you know, the uh, neck, both, the neck, I'm sorry, the, the bridge, the middle over here gets both, and then the, the neck. Um, the neck is a shallow. Nice sounding neck pickup. Let me uh, put it on a quick little uh, clean. Let's see how this sounds. And then both. And then uh, the neck. Really nice. Um, you know, the, even the neck plate is just a flat, even like the logo has the, the way the Kramer logo looks in the beak, it's just a flat neck plate where the newer ones are, are the ones within uh, 85, 86, 87 were engraved. And I can throw a picture of those up. Um, and now just getting to this particular neck, it's uh, four pieces. It looks like one piece of flame and then maybe like a bird's eye. It's, it's the back of it's three pieces in the top, four pieces all together in the top is, you know, maple. And it's just a really, uh, just a really unique neck. It, it feels completely different. Um, you know, I was able to buy the one that I had off of Steve because around uh, either 88 probably is when he got his Ibanez RG560. And I think he was just wanting just to keep playing the Ibanez guitars. And uh, there's a complete different feel between this guitar and an Ibanez RG. It's like kind of having a Corvette and having a Chevette, which is no slight to the Kramers because they were awesome guitars and I played them for a long, long time. Um, I just love this look, the small block lettering, gold with Kramer American. Um, they came with shallow tuners. Um, even back then, the original Kramers came with shallow tuners and then even around 86, 87, I'm not sure when they stopped, but at least they were using um, shallow tuners, German made, really good. These are old. And it has a little thing on the back to uh, your Allen wrench. And I just really love these, uh, this particular guitar. I mean, even though I have a, I've had some other Kramers, like this is a, one of you can see it. That's like, I think an 86 or an 87, I'm not too sure. But then once I got into 88, they started going to the, uh, the big K for the Kramer logo. I just didn't like that. I just like this, and especially when I saw this from Steve, when I saw Steve's, it just, just pulled me in, and I begged him and begged him, and he finally sold it to me. And um, I had it for a long time. I ended up repainting it um, to the green and white striped, just something I do when I was younger. I wanted to have my own design. Um, then a couple of years ago, not more than a couple of years ago, probably 15 to 16 years ago, there was some problems. I think the truss rod had gotten loose, and I didn't know that you could get a truss rod tightened or fixed. Not tightened, it was just like rattling. And I thought, eh, you know, something. And I had played the guitar so much that it was going to need a fret job anyway because the frets were down to nothing. It, it was just like, they were just almost flat. And I just didn't feel like putting any money into it and I didn't want to spend any more. And I just was like, eh, I'll get rid of it. And then I kicked myself after. And then I spent a, a long time trying to get all these parts together. 
Um, you know, Kramer is back. They're making, you know, the, the Pacer models that would be red, green, different colors with the old style headstock. And I think it's great. And they're, you know, they're coming back to making the uh, Berettas again or the 1984 models. So they've got a lot of great stuff in the Richie Sambora model or the Jersey Star. They're kind of doing a lot of retro stuff. But if Kramer is watching or if anybody has any contacts at Kramer, Take a look at this guitar. Look at the headstock, the feeling of this neck. Um, I wish they would make this particular model again. I think it would do incredibly well. If anybody has a, you know, I'm not going to say anybody has a chance to play it, but if this is just such a unique feeling guitar, I think it's great. Um, if Kramer is watching, somebody send this to Kramer. Reach out to me and I will send you the guitar so you can make an exact copy of this. I think it's just a great guitar. Um, I'm just really lucky and happy that I was able to track down getting that particular exact body because even the horn is a little bit different than on the other models. This is smaller. The other horns were a little bit fuller in the, in the later years. And again, to me, the, the, the most incredible thing is just this neck because it feels so, so good. Well, listen, I don't want to keep you here any longer. Thank you for watching the video. Um, thank you for everybody who subscribed. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Any questions on some other guitars you saw me holding up. Um, just thank you for checking out the video, for your support. And again, if there's anybody who has a contact with Kramer, forward this over to them, have them contact me. You can use the guitar to make a copy of it. People would love this. Leave some comments. I want to know what people think. Um, and that's about it. And thanks for stopping by. And I'll actually, I'll put a video out of me playing some kind of fun solo with this song. So thank you.